Hey YouTube, in this deck profile I'm going to be doing my Angel Feather deck profile. This is deck is probably going to change pretty soon because I'm going to try to build the Celestial one uh, once Seal Dragon's Unleash comes out. And I actually already have uh, quite a few of the Celestials from the Japanese booster pack that I pulled uh, back when I was on vacation in the summer. Uh, but I didn't have enough to build a complete deck. So rather than building another random hodgepodge uh, budget Celestial deck profile or and, and then putting that on the internet, I just went with the Crimson Impact one. So the Crimson Angels. Uh, this is the one that I think uh, Rekka from the anime used. And then Suiko uses the Crimson one. So for starters, Crimson Heart Nahas. Just the typical... Uh, starter for a theme build like this one's crimson so that's their starter and then for sunny small angel the best healer in the whole game because angel feathers heal a lot this thing it's like Los Angeles you can send it back and heal again and again and again um, I remember when I my very first angel feather deck was like a budget one and I healed like seven times in that game because I kept recycling this and healing Four draw the new draw from uh, set nine. Uh, it's got one of those when it's in the damage zone. You can turn it to face down to increase uh, your Van Angel Feather Vanguard by three thousand. So that a lot of the Crimson Heart cards do that, as you'll see. So this fits right in with them. It's not a Crimson card, uh, but it has the same uh, effects. Like the play style is the same. And then I just went with 8 critical. So 4 heal, 4 draw, 8 critical. For grade 1s, 4 thousand ray pegasus. This is your main booster. We do not run... This deck is unique in that you do not need to run the 8k booster. I, I guess you could if you want more attack power. Uh, but thousand ray pegasus can boost your... Uh, vanguard and rear guards to incredible levels as well as attacking with very high attack power uh, if you're cycling through your damage zone a lot which is what this deck is really good at so 4,000 red pegasus definitely and then four peer keeper requel a lot of people like to run three of this uh, because you can manipulate the damage zone I don't really agree with that I prefer just to have four for the consistency And then three battle Cupid no seal. Uh, use this to cycle your damage zone, uh, and its effect. It's interesting because it's it's on G effect, so it's when it's a guardian, it gets its effect. And then for Crimson Mine Brosh or Bruge, this is the Grade One Crimson, and like the other Grade Two. Or like the grade two, this one has that effect where, and like this card, uh, they have the effect where you can turn them to phase down to power up uh, your Angel Feather Vanguard by three thousand. So there's a lot of combos like with this on G, put this there, Pegasus goes up by two thousand. This thing can turn when it's your attack, it goes up by another three thousand. So yeah, the deck, it's pretty good. It's just hard to play. Um, like if you if you play Angel Feathers, you can tell that it, it requires a lot of uh, planning your moves out. For Grade Two, Four Crimson Drive, Aphrodite. This one is just like the Grade One, and just like this draw trigger, they all have that turn and phase down to increase by three thousand when they're damage zone. So four of this, if you're going to actually build the Crimson Drive deck, you need to run, or the Crimson deck, you need to run, like, these, basically, in order to get, to superior ride your grade three. Um, there's a, this card has a pretty good effect to do that. I think there's another card in Vanguard, like, I think it's a Royal or Gold Pal, and I forgot what it was, that does the same thing. And then next we have two Core Memory Armros. This is the generic Counterblast 2 in the attack hits draw card. Just for draw power. 
Although you counter blast a lot, it's not that big of a deal because you cycle damage quite a bit with this deck. Speaking of cycling the damage zone cards, uh, four Love Machine Gun No Seal when it's placed on R. Choose Angel Feather Guard from the hand, put it in the damage zone, take the card from the damage zone, put it back in the hand. So it allows you to reuse the cards that were turned face down. So four is a must. The only downside is that it's kind of weak. Uh, but again, Pegasus kind of helps out with increasing the attack, so it's not that big of a deal. So those are the grade twos. For grade threes, one, the Phoenix Calamity Flame. This, you mainly want this to be one of your main rear guards uh, because it gets 2,000. Just like Pegasus, it powers up by 2,000 uh, when a card is put in the damage zone. So, like this right here is a really good column. And then two, Medical Gunner Hermires. This card is your other main rear guard. You don't want this to be your vanguard. Calamity Flame is okay to be a vanguard, but it's not the main vanguard. Uh, this is definitely supposed to be a rear guard because the effect is a rear guard. Um, but it's pretty decent. I'm testing it out. It's a promo card. Um, I may drop it for something else, but right now the deck seems to work pretty decently. And then as a backup, Vanguard 2, Circular Saw Curial. The only thing I don't like about Curial is that you have to put the card from the top of your deck face down in the damage zone instead of face up. So, I don't know. Otherwise, I guess it could have been pretty broken if it was the other way around. Um, but yeah, Curial's pretty decent. It also has that limit break, that generic limit break effect when it attacks the Vanguard, it gets 5,000. But then for the main Vanguard, since this is a Crimson deck, I went with three Crimson Impact Metatron. You only need three because you can superior ride her, uh, and she's only, well no I take that back, she has a pretty good vanguard effect. So you want her to be your main vanguard throughout most of the game, but I wanted to run more variety and you can really just run three because of the superior ride if you can pull it off with your grade two and your grade one. And your grade zero, because all three of them are required. So that was the deck, uh, it's a pretty fun deck. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks.